What's up guys, Sigidun here with a tutorial. I wanted to show you guys my workflow in Premiere Pro on how I put together things and give you guys the basics and also how to basically uh, cut down any long session uh, gameplay footage you may have that you may want to turn into like little episodes. Like for example, that The Forest with Friends series I got going, which speaking of which, I actually have the friends with me right now. Uh -huh. <laughs> Good evening or afternoon or morning, whichever it may be. Yeah, so oh, that look at you so formal. <laughs> <laughs> so that whole series, that whole series, uh, what we did was we basically sat there and played for like what an hour and a half, an hour and a half. And what I've been Three doing quarters. is I've, I've been chopping it down and turning them to basically episodes because it's good footage. Good footage. So, what you're going to do first is in Premiere Pro, you're going to create, I'm gonna write, write this tut tut. Tut tut, whatever, good name. You can create a new project. <laughs> I, I thought it was toot toot, like fart. <laughs> yeah, toot toot. So, <laughs> what you're going to do is when you're in Premiere Pro, this is the first screen you're going to see when you start a new project. You're going to have your timeline, your little uh, source preview thingy here. And uh, what you're going to do is either you can go to where your recording is. For example, if I go into Shadow Play right here and go into the forest. I have my my footage, which I'll drag into Premiere Pro. Oh, I like I was, the, your wrist. That wrist, that was good. Wrist? Some nice smooth movements there. Yeah, man. that was nice. <laughs> I wish that translated in-game with me. It's all in the wrist. <laughs> <laughs> and then you also grab your commentary, which is something that I highly recommend you do. Record your commentary. I do it in Audacity. Um, so that you can basically have you separated from the gameplay and you can do equalization and editing to your own voice so that you can level it out and it sounds, you know, you can make yourself sound uh, like good, I guess. As compared Adios to the city. Better. Better. Yes, true. better. The only thing, though, is that if you are doing something like multiplayer and you're recording, most times you're going to have to try to figure out the in-game audio balance between you and your friends. For example, I'm talking to these guys on TeamSpeak, so I have to adjust their volume as well as the game volume because you're basically recording that all together. But your own commentary, you have control over, so make sure to record that separately so that you can mix it in perfectly. All right, so that now that we perfectly, <laughs> so now that we have both our footage and commentary in in uh, Adobe Premiere, you can basically just drag it onto the timeline. And it'll create a new sequence. And what I like to do is I like to call this sequence the the cutting board. Because this, hmm. this is basically where I'm going to be doing the chopping to bring down. Because right now, as you can see, we're at 108 minutes of footage. Doesn't that mean an hour? <laughs> an hour? An hour? What did I say? Did you say? <laughs> <laughs> you said 108 minutes. minutes. <laughs> yeah, it's something about you guys so, being in the call or being in a video with me that just makes me butcher everything that I say. But then that's not true because I think so. I'm a star dude. <laughs> that's video. like it's like two hours almost. No way. <laughs> All right, so <laughs> you're, you're one back. hour and eight minutes. One hour and eight minutes. I'm sorry. <laughs> so you drag in your footage and you drag in your commentary as well. So you basically have it synced up. To your footage. And I believe the first thing I do here is just start cracking up. The heck? <laughs> so, um, you want to make sure that when you start recording your commentary, you give yourself some type of audio cue. So, for example, whenever I literally start hitting record on Shadowplay, I, I say go into the mic. So, I know to basically chop off everything before the go and that it'll be synced up with my recording. So... What I basically do is I keep scrubbing through and basically look at the footage and decide what I want to keep. And then when I decide I want to cut things out, I go and I click on the the slice tool or cut tool. Razor, Razor tool or, is or, the official or C name. Or C on your keyboard. Or C on your keyboard. Thank you, Chiquito. Ooh. Yeah, you know. He didn't know and that then, he saw you hovering over it. <laughs> <laughs> and then what I do is if you hold shift and then left click with the Razor tool. It basically slices through the footage and the commentary in the oh. same exact spot. Man, new wow! Every day. Yeah, it's and all in the wrist. I'm telling you. <laughs> and then you basically scrub ahead into another part, 
uh, basically that you want to make the edit and do the same thing. C, hold shift, cut, hit V or click here to the uh, selection tool. Hover over that and then just basically delete it. And you just basically delete a whole portion that you don't want. Oh. And then you can basically highlight uh, the part that you want to come back to and attach it. Or another trick is, let's say for whatever reason you made a bunch of cuts already and you went back to go edit something where there's a bunch of cuts and you would have to basically highlight everything that you just cut up. It's going to be a pain to have to scroll, especially if you have to go and scroll through an hour of something footage. Well, I guess if you hold alt and scroll, you can basically make the timeline smaller and highlight oh everything and drag it over. Fancy, I tell you, fancy. Oh, man. But another thing you can use it is... just changes the game. <laughs> another thing you can use is if you go here to the slide tool and basically... Who the heck? What the heck is Wait, going yeah, on inside my door? Man, what is going on in somebody's background? That is not me. That's, that's me. coming from my headset. Oh. That's that's me. Like some, oh. rover. <laughs> some roveries out there, man. I swear to God, nothing... <laughs> you know, that only happens when I'm recording, man. Yeah, Anyways, oh, I, know, I hear that all the time. So, we take the slide tool, and you can basically go to the beginning right here and drag it over. And what that'll do is everything that's ahead of it over here will drag over, even if there's a bunch of cuts. So, let's say... I Wait, no, that's actually cuts. pretty useful, because I have that problem all the time. So, let's say I have all these... I, I make a bunch of cuts right here, right? Cut it. Could. Yeah, and Good. I would have to basically highlight all that to drag it over. But again, like I said, if you use a slide tool, does it have to be connected to the, each other, or it could be have like spaces between them? Oh, wrong! I hit, I hit the wrong thing. <laughs> <laughs> slide tool, drag it over, and it'll basically bring everything over. Hmm. Well, so everything, all like all the files, have to be touching each other, or they kind of spaces between them. Uh, let's find out. Oh, or maybe it'll keep the it'll keep the the space. Let's see. Let's just move everything off to the side. Yeah, there you go. And then slide to on the next oh, episode. Oh, what the heck? Wait, oh, you just slide, slide to. You don't have everything selected. Tell me. There you go. Oh, oh, oh. oh wait, 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 wait. Mistakes wait, wait. were made. I got it. I got it. I got to figure it out. Boom. Damn. All right. And it stays no. there. All right. Okay. So that doesn't Pretty help cool. me at all. It does. Nope. Yeah. Nope. It keeps the space. No, I don't want the space. You just go. So then why don't you just take off the space and speak? You know what I mean? Nah, because sometimes I like being messy with my stuff and then I just like. Sliding it all together, like pushing it with my hand, just like, bam, that way. So, let's say you cut up <laughs> the first portion of what you want to keep and add for your first episode. So, let's say I just wanted my first episode to be this this right here. What I like to do is create another sequence. You, you right-click here in the project thingy. You item. Oh, one second. One second. Pause. Pause. All right, uh, so let's keep them entertaining for a little. So, he, what you're looking at now. He's literally not recording. Right? Oh, oh, no, he paused it? No, I yeah. think he's still recording. <coughs> All right, so. My orb reader just came, guys. Unboxing. Yeah. Unboxing! I'm going to edit that part, but whatever. Well, no, I was keeping them entertained, but after you interrupted me. <laughs> really? No, I didn't. I was trying to. Uh, he said pause, so I don't know. Anyways. So let's say we decided that this is going to be the first episode. So what you do is click right here, right click, new item, new sequence. Whoa. I usually just hit whatever for the simple fact that, um, in, well, in that screen, you can choose what the format that you're going to use for the sequence. But what I basically do is I go back to the cutting board, highlight everything that I'm going to keep or I'm going to, oh. that's going to become whatever. Cut it. Oops, wrong. I hit freaking undo. Wrong one. Wrong one. Oh my god. Oh, it's redo. Redo. I did it again. Alright, whatever. New item. Oops. Oh my god. There you go. Uh, Can so I be the ad libber? Sure. So you basically cut, cut whatever you're going to keep. 
go into sequence two and paste it in. Paste! And then that's basically, you rename that episode Juan. Juan! So, oh. And then <laughs> what I basically like to do is, um, in this one, this is where I start messing with the audio, uh, start making scrubbing through it and making sure that i'm happy with what that what i have so far and then what you can do is do all your edits like for example if i wanted to where is it add my no don't open it add my sick motion Boom. titles wait Boom. Boom. What, what was that what the what this the little uh oh yeah i want to how does this work? the little yeah you need to thing. teach me how to do that <laughs> uh let's say i wanted to add this over um you can add it over here and there here but what i like to do is once i have this cut once edit it and perfect and how i want to i do an extra step you don't have to do it it just works out for me and how i've been doing i create another sequence and i name it quick motion i think no i name it episode one final and then what I basically do in here is drag the actual episode one sequence into here. And what I do is, let's say I wanted to add an intro or do anything separately. I do it here, but it doesn't affect any of the or editing. It doesn't affect like basically what I have already done for episode one. So let's say I wanted to like add a, a intro or anything else. I would just have to worry about moving this about. And any edits that I have to do to the actual episode itself, I do in the episode one sequence. Because, you know, it's annoying that if you have oh. a bunch of cuts, if you, to do any editing, you have to drag everything over and, like, tweak and whatnot. So, yeah, basically, the episode, the episode one final is basically where I like to do any of the, the post-processing. Maybe, like, an adjustment layer over the whole thing if I wanted to give it a specific look. Or, in this case, um, in the beginning, if I add sick title motion, put it above it. And that basically adds that above the, the heck, above the video. And like I said, you can add any intros before it, anything you want. You basically want to do. So this is my workflow and basically how I do it. You guys can skip this step and just do it everything in episode one since it's already caught up and do it however you want it. But this has worked out for me. And then if you have just a bunch of episodes here, you can always create a new bin, which is basically a folder and uh, keep everything associated with episode one. in there so that you basically have it organized and neat you're helping and, my life out so much right now and then what i basically like also to do is let's say i have a bunch of this like sick of the motion title and then also like the little uh guy that i usually put up here my face up here uh faint the little uh thingy. avatar yeah the little avatar the uh, I, I keep that in its own yeah the watermark i keep that in its own bin maybe with like visual viduo I almost misspelled that. Visual Can you name it sexiness? Assets. Or, yes. My sprinkle of sexiness. Yeah, there you go. I usually throw that in there. So I basically organize. Because what I can basically do is keep coming back to the same project. Cutting board and just keep chopping it off. Make another sequence. Episode 2. And then just keep going um, back and forth that way. So, for example, in episode 2 of The Forest, I basically added a previously. On the forest with friends. Um, all I did, had to do was go into episode one and basically cut up the little parts that I want to show in the beginning of that, of episode two final, and put it in front of here. I don't like all these sense. spoilers, man. I don't like all these spoilers. <laughs> yeah. I haven't seen. I haven't seen the video. And I, oh, so I'm basically spoiling by showing you the format of what I used. Yes, because now I know you're gonna say previously. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that would have that would have surprised me so much. <laughs> so basically, ha after you're done with that, you layered everything and uh, you're ready to export it. You're going to want to go. Make sure that you have the episode one final. Uh, highlight it. You're going to go to export media. And then what I like to do is go up to format. Um, make sure that it's H264. Mm -hmm. H.264, which is like, you know, the boss format. It the keeps the gosh. quality and keeps the size format down. And then I like to go to the presets and scroll all the way down. 
or click because he's clicking to <laughs> shut up to the youtube formats <laughs> and um i basically choose the youtube 1080p hd if i have 60 frames per second or the uh this one right here if, you, if you're doing 30 but everything i'm recording nowadays is 60 frames per second so i always just choose that and then what i like to do is make sure that the render at maximum depth is on and uh, use maximum render quality and i always do two passes it's going to take longer. The rendering is going to take longer, but it's going to retain as much quality as possible. Um, and for 60 frames, though, you can either go between 12. You can get away with 12 frames per second and 60 frames per second. And even if you want to bring it down, you can even do eight. But I recommend only eight, the bit rate for uh, 30 frames. But like, it's just, it's just my preference. You can get away with it for eight. It'll bring down the file size. Um, but for 60 frames, I recommend somewhere between 12 and 16. And then you can basically either export it or if, for example, what I like to do is like to edit a bunch of videos and then just add it to this queue. And it'll basically send it to, uh, if it'll open. Oh, it's opening. Hold on. One second. One second. Into a media encoder. And then what I basically do is send a bunch of things to the media encoder that I want to that I want to render, hit go, and just go to sleep. And by the time I wake up, all of this stuff is rendered. All of the videos that I want to go are rendered. So that's basically my workflow. I uh, hope it helped you guys out. If I if me mumbling on confused you guys or you're still confused about my like how I use the sequences, make sure to ask a question. I'll do a follow up. Uh, make sure to go to Chiquito and Black Panther's pages. <laughs> Under construction. Yeah, I threw you guys. I threw you guys a button uh, there. You know, you gotta go to my. All right, there, boss. And we all, as always, remember to like, comment, and subscribe <laughs> to my channel. Please, it'll be much appreciated. Wait, can and... you mash that like button for me one time? Come on, give me that thumbs up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anyways, I will catch you guys later. <laughs>